new orbital station around the moon. Build the facility into a previously undisturbed Class B asteroid. Jeez, they're asking for stuff now. That's the Eve rock. Rescue Kerfield. Well, we're not going to get Kerbals any other way. Recover Danwig and Danwig's debris from orbit around the moon. The debris is of that size. We don't really have a 2.5 meter width bay. Otherwise, we could use a bay for that. Definitely vote for- hold on, hold on, you're only horses. Anyway, let's uh, pick that. And no, not that one right now. Get that Kerbal. We've already got an asteroid contract. We need to uh, bring a newly discovered Class C asteroid into orbit around Duna. But we need more technology for that, because apparently we need ISRU stuff. Anyway, um, planes. Oh, let me get the mass of that. It's probably a pod, giving the... Probably like a Mark III capsule or something, or maybe a Mark II lander can. No, that's not long enough for a Mark II lander can. 1.4 tons. What could it be? 1.4 tons. Height 1.3 meters. I guess it's not that big in height. But it's slightly longer in length than in width. But I guess... Oh, I see. This does have a little bit of protrusion. It's this thing. This is what it is. Right. And I guess if it's not got any mod propellant, it'll be 1.4 tons. Pretty much. Now, we just don't have a bay that can facilitate grabbing this along with the Kerbal. But we could probably grab it and attach it to the back of the plane. In tow. How? What's its heat tolerance? Eh, it's okay. We could probably do better shielding it. What? What's our existing space plane like? No, this definitely can't just. I mean, we could, I guess, strap it to the top instead. We could just have the claw dock to a docking port on top here. Right on top of the center of mass. We'll have the claw in the bay first. I feel like this is too tall. Because it's going to be sticking on the top of this. Over the center of mass, maybe, but still sticking over the top of it. Uh, maybe we should go with fewer batteries and more balls. Okay. Does that fit in? Uh, well, we could tuck that in a bit. Okay, so we've got a claw thingy for that, and we can have a one seat free up front. We don't really need mod propellant in this. I don't think it even has RCS thrusters right now. We may have to have a refueler dock to it though. It can't get all the way to the moon on its own. Use the robotic hinge? What do you mean? Oh! Robotic hinge to bring it into the bay. So dock it on the hinge and then... What do you mean? How am I going to use the robotic hinge? The thing doesn't fit into the bay. Well, what are we hinging? I mean, I guess we could have the claw inside the bay and put the this docking port inside the bay. But then we'd have to have the bay open, and I didn't want to do that. Yeah, I'm not seeing how I'm going to use a robotic hinge for something. Well, we definitely need main landing gear, though. 
Um, we don't really have any new engines. It will just click. No, that's cheating. <laughs> if you want something in there, uh, then. You have to leave it open. Will this be dangerous? Yes. Therefore, we will not use Jebraval. We'll use. Rich Hat. We need to do some science somehow. Gosh darn it. That was the whole point. But there's no... There's no scientific benefit to this whole thing. I keep picking up contracts so there's no science to it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> We're doing this. Purples are worth it. They're expensive otherwise. It's really bouncy. Okay. Here we go. I didn't even check what orbit the Kerbin Orbit one was in. Okay, well, let's see, where are they? Um, Kerfield, it's right there. They, they just make it too easy for me. Kerfield is not the one that we need to recover the pod from. We just need to get Kerfield in. Oh, well, where are we gonna put the second Kerbal? Gosh darn it. All right, fine. Well, I mean... We should have just made this automated. We could have just made this automated. We didn't even need Rich Hat. <sighs> Whatever. We're off now. I could bring it back. Leave it in the can. All right. <laughs> All right. This this may be a horrible idea. We may kill a Kerbal, but we weren't particularly attached to the Kerbal in the first place, so... Fair enough. Payload bay? We mean put him in the payload bay. There's no... There's a chance they might clip through and accidentally, you know, do something horrible. I don't know. I don't trust payload bays to contain Kerbals like that. Can you just dump Kerbals into a payload bay and have them be safe during re-entry? I mean, I feel that that's probably a bit dodgy. Can't time warp or it'll disappear? Yeah, I might want to reserve the ability to time warp. Especially since we'll be coming back from the moon with that Kerbal. Need a seat for safety? Okay. Well, then we have to leave him in the lander can. Uh, the lander can's not going to be in the bay. It's going to be riding on top here. Hopefully it'll be protected from the heat by the wing. That's the best we've got. Nah, uh, me adding that extra liquid fuel and oxidizer was optimistic. Okay, we are now climbing and accelerating again. Isn't this thing that you're trying to rescue in the orbit of- yeah. Um, no, we're gonna have to refuel the space plane. It's a bit overly complicated, to be honest. I just wanted to fly the space plane. I think we're gonna slow down before trying to enter the atmosphere. We could skim the atmosphere. I mean, we don't have to be worried about radiation or anything, so I suppose the answer is yes. Oh, this isn't a good place. I don't want to decelerate and lose altitude. Come on. Plane doesn't really do well carrying any load at all, so <laughs> this is 
Uh, but we did put in more fuel, so we'll see. Okay, accelerating a little bit better now. Yeah, but if we fully refuel it, we should have some fuel left over after the moon return to slow down. Uh, I don't think it's going to get to the velocity I wanted to, so let's just kick it in the pants. Unfortunately, plain things do take a little bit of time. I mean, we're, we're actually pretty close. I mean, we could actually get to the moon with the amount that we have left. Coming back would be a problem, though. Okay, well, we'll just have to hang- well, I guess we could rescue that one Kerbal. Probably want to be in a higher orbit for that. Alright, I'll bring that periapsis down to the pot, uh, the target's level and then we'll... Oh, there is a Station 1. I wonder if there's any fuel on Station 1. Hmm, that's a thought. I don't think there's gotta be enough fuel though. 0.4 kilometers, sounds fine. And the lowest we get is 75 kilometers, okay. Oh, but uh, we should have done the note already. Oh shoot, I forgot this is stock. Uh, this soda burn needs to be done earlier than... Because the planet's smaller. I was going by visual. Oh yeah, I guess... Maybe Verifel was using the Engine Igniter mod. And maybe Kerbalism is compatible with it or something. A scientist. So don't need a scientist. Well, I don't know if it does it for Realism Overhaul, but I would suppose it doesn't. Because the engines are real engines that have definite numbers of ignitions, but again, they could change that. They could make Kerbalism do that. Okay. Alright, so we'll refuel. Let's get it away from that thing. And we'll send a refueler up. Oh, this is a full refueler, but it's also a fully reusable refueler, so I think we'll just go with it. Alright! Launch! Yeah, I'm sure engineers are probably the best as long as we've got good probe cores. Which we don't right now. We've got crappy probe cores. We need the full featured probe cores. No pilots, no scientists even, just engineers. Let's leave the nose cap in the atmosphere. We're deliberately going into a high orbit so that it can allow the mission to catch up. Okay. Okay, did I action group anything? Anything at all? No? Oh, great. And I don't have the right pressures on this one. It'd be better to bring it- if I, we wanted to get close to the space center, having this lopsided orbit's no good. Ah, uh, we're probably gonna land short. Oh, I wish when we lost probe control it just held its previous command. Yeah, well, I guess we'll be in the water ahead of the KSC continent. Remember how the delta V thing is calculated, right? Delta V is the mass with out the f uh, with the fuel divided by the mass without the fuel and then you take the ln of that and all that business i mean maybe you could get two meters per second or something out of it i mean uh, there's not 
that much mass of air in the suit. I don't know. What is it? One kilogram of uh, air is 22.4 liters, isn't that right? In volume? Recover, recover, re no, don't let it, oh, well, I guess we'll gonna find out whether it can survive this. Ow. Okay, we lost the parachutes. At least, thanks, good, thank goodness in the movie they got Matt Damon because you needed somebody to drive the story, which was otherwise pretty thin. I mean, this, obviously we, we are long-suffering space peoples. They don't really do a whole lot. Yeah, I heard the audiobook. Um... You know, they don't give us a whole lot to work with, <laughs> right? So when we get something like The Martian, we're like, yay, they gave us something. But it, it could be a lot. I mean, there wasn't much meat to the story. Uh, wouldn't it hurt your body since you're basically exposing your body to space? You haven't gotten to the exposing to body to space yet. It would be progressively worse and worse um, but you're still basically covered by the air until it's all gone um, that uh, in uh, uh, the picture that little bit that the hole is directly over well the air is rushing over your little patch of skin so it's rushing through but then the air is getting thinner and thinner and thinner you'll probably mm, not be breathing anymore long before there's the normal skin problems because um, th the last location that will have air over it is the location right above the hole but then you and your helmet you're not gonna have air anymore so unless the suit is constructed in an interesting way solitude and the will to survive well I mean they're not supposed to be alone so <laughs> I mean, but then so is Robinson Crusoe. It's sort of in the long line of like that that Tom not uh, what Tom Hanks movie, right? I mean, uh, Castaway. I didn't read Space Brothers. That one I watched the anime of, uh, at least the beginning. It's a long series, it's like eighty episodes. There's also a movie. Movie had Buzz Aldrin in a guest role in the Japanese movie. A little bit awkward, but it's okay. There's, there's more going... I mean, there's... See, like, with Space Brothers, a planet S, there's a lot of story going on. There's a lot of, a lot of interesting elements. I think I probably shouldn't have even gone into a higher orbit looking at it. We just so happened to be at a good time. We should have just gone to a normal orbit. It's going far ahead. Well, I guess we'll wait. No, but the Japanese take their space things seriously. They have two movies on the first Hayabusa probe. Not one, two! <laughs> Feature films with stars and all. Oh, Hayabusa means Falcon? I mean, deal with talking about it. I mean, if it means Falcon, it means Falcon, right? You're definitely overthinking. I mean, the original Hayabusa probe, let me double check its date. But it might be rather early to even be. Uh, I mean, the original Hayabusa was launched in 2003. So, Falcon was a gleam in Elon Musk's eye. Oh, no, they, they would definitely use the English name for something that's English. No, because the Japanese have an entire set of characters just for foreign words. So if they want to talk about Falcon 9, they'll just talk about Falcon 9, yeah. Oh, Falcon. Falcon. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, they're not going to call it Hayabusa. No, they'll just use the English terms for whatever. They never as far as I know, translate the English words into Japanese like that. Well, you know, I wouldn't want to force a gourd on anyone.
No, no, please. We, we're we're gonna do gourd puns now, please. No. In musical instrument from the gourd. Yeah. Think how much better it would be if it was a pumpkin. That would be a very good musical instrument. Purely. Oh come! Oh, come on! Come on! You can do it. Stop, RCS! Stop! Stop! Oh, we don't have control anymore. Well, okay, just do whatever then. Are we not allowed to dock when we don't have control? Come on, magnetism. They're really close. Um, maybe if we go over to this side. Um, roll a bit. Pitch a bit. Gosh darn it, this close to a crude vehicle, it shouldn't have problems communicating. Just, oh, there we go. Alright, whatever, let's, let's... I think that's enough transfer. Now it has communication. Okay, well hopefully the RCS is enough to deorbit it. Okay, what is it trying to do with the RCS if it can't hold retrograde like I told it to? Hmm? Oh, now we got communication. Alright, let's get those antennae in. I wonder what that spot over there is. Oh, that's one of those trees or something. Shape of the capsule would force it retrograde. Kerbal doesn't always agree. Oh, I forgot there's extra parachutes. Gosh darn it! I didn't. I I neglected two of the parachutes. Oh no. This is gonna be harsh. Oh, we lost the heat shield. I sh I'd missed two parachutes. Okay, let's send our plane to the moon and rescue a Kerbal and a capsule. I've tried to grow um, cabbage and that sort of thing, leafy greens. You know what happens? They get eaten before I ever get to them. <laughs> they, they, they got they got holes all over them. Apparently, everything else in the world likes them to bits too. Well, I don't, but they do. They want them a whole lot more than I do. Um, those... I don't know why the jet engines... I thought I turned the jet engines off already. I need to tune down the thrusters. The thrusters on the... The RCS thrusters... On the... Whatchamacallit? Refueler were way too powerful. I swear those little base modules that we deployed... Don't do squat. I mean, they did a little bit of science, but not a whole lot of science. I was very disappointed. No, no, not that science lab. No, the surface science modules. You know, the ones that we placed in sort of a little group down there? They needed power and everything. Those little things. Oh, it's one of those pods. It's, um, it is the same lander cam, but it's shaped like the rover size. Well, we're just gonna have the claw do the thing, we just need to park it. Otherwise we're just gonna be going in circles because we don't have RCS on the space plane. Um, we need to worry about communications. Uh, well, we've got Moon Station 1 there that can relay. We should probably wait until that's overhead. Because otherwise the claw's not going to be able to communicate very far, it's only got the probe core. Modeling my own planes? Well, I mean... I can always model my own planes. You got a plane you want in particular? My, but, but real planes just don't go very high. They aren't SSTOs. So, there is that.
Wow, it really launched out of there. And it's got it's got comms. But right now I've been working Raider Nick on the game stuff, right? Because I'm doing my own little Mars game in Unity. So I have to do a lot of modeling for that. Well, I mean, uh, the thing is, I, I'm not really thrilled with the idea of making control surfaces, Raider Nick. And I haven't actually figured out how to do it properly yet. So... And then the, then you're left with the stock control surfaces. No, my game is definitely not out. No, this is like the first game I'm trying to make, so I mean, let's not... We're not jumping the gun here. It's gonna be crappy. Just... Yeah. But... Still have to do it so that I get experience to do a better one later. 5% easier? That doesn't sound very much easier, actually. Ooh, I didn't really want it like that. Oh, we'll go with it. Dan, wait, it's just another scientist. Not like it's a pilot or something. You know, we could have probably fit it inside the pod if it had been honest that it was going to be a rover one instead of the other one. Right? I could have put the... Well, I don't know. We could have grabbed it by the side, I suppose. By, by the edge. We could have made it happen. But it cited the size of the round one instead. No, this I don't care about this one's re-grab. It'll, it'll be over the center mass, that's the important thing. It might look a little bit icky, but I don't think its dynamics will be a problem. Nope. Oh, wow, that's a lot of magnetism. Okay, well, if you're gonna magnetism, magnetism. Gosh darn it. Is it? It's not the balls. Come on. Is it the balls? It might be the balls. Gosh darn it. Oh, they, it docked. But we're rotated. Oh, whatever. That's how it's gonna work, that's how it's gonna work. Is in the main body of the plane. We don't have space in the main body of the plane. The Kerbal's just gonna have to sit in there. We can auto strut. But I believe in the claw. Don't you have faith in the claw? We might as well get into orbit around Kerbin first. Otherwise we won't be able to aim for the KSC very well. Auto strut is a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Bye bye Kerbal? How dare you. How dare you wish ill upon our Kerbals. Drag is fine. I mean, after all, we're trying to go down. We're not trying to speed up, we're gonna be trying to slow down. Lock the Kerbal, I think that's more dangerous than this? I mean, the Kerbal could potentially parachute out, right? I mean, assuming we pass by the worst of it. I think the cargo bay might be more dangerous. I mean, you guys neglect the like... The Super Guppy. I feel like you're neglecting the Super Guppy. <laughs> when you think about drag. And planes. I'm gonna try and land at the KSC, yeah. We'll try and make orbit. We've got a thousand meters per second left. We can uh, get into a nice little orbit around Kerbin first. I swear it just... It, it keeps changing how much Delta V it thinks I have, though. Sometimes it says 1000, sometimes 890, so you'll have to be careful about that. Spawn the house to leave... Oh. In the middle of a heat radiator? Well... You are facing your your unique cat problems.
Okay. Cats are always on topic. It's true. Okay, so where are we? We're actually... We could hang out here for a little bit. I want the KSC to be in daylight. Let's go to the tracking station to wait. Well, we'll, we'll see how well this works. For test purposes, we'll get to closer to 30 kilometers. We'll see how bad an aerodynamic thingamajig having that, like, we might have to do a lot of yawing to straighten that out. We'll see. I don't know how well it models aerodynamics. Fortunately, we have a reaction wheel. Yay. Massive jammed rudder. Well, we could release it and have Danwig parachute down. Well, that can be done. That's a whole lot of overheating for a space plane. Cool robotics and grip panels. Well, you know, closer to the... Once we unlock the tech tree, we'll be effectively in sandbox. I don't know. I mean, we'd still have a budget, but maybe I would turn off the budget and just play as if it was sandbox at that point. I need to work on getting more science, though. Keep neglecting science. Just grinding out contracts. Sculpting with these stock parts. I don't know. I have a pretty definite definition of sculpting. Air-breathing rapiers? Well, if we have them unlocked, that'd be something, but we don't. About, uh, we've got like half of the 300 point science unlocked, so not that high. Like, we don't have bigger shuttle parts or anything like that. Um, we still have the longest range antennas, we want those. We haven't unlocked ISRU drills or converters. Still working on that. So there are definitely things that we need. It's hardly noticeable Triple Ace when we've got the powerful reaction wheels. That, you know, you're you've got like we're never really paying much attention to which method of control is being used. Well, don't worry. I'm I'm I've done this quite a bit. <laughs> I mean, I, I had already pitched down. I'm not at 40 degrees or anything. Normal shuttle thing is like 40 degrees up. Oh, okay. That's interesting. You can see the yaw. I I I've, I've let go of the stick. You can see it's it's got some. But I expect that I can use the Panthers if necessary. So let's get the Panthers ready. Panthers. No, nope. Panthers. Whoa, that was a lot more G-forces than I was expecting. No, 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 we can double back. We, in fact, uh, we shouldn't even need to um, use the Panthers to turn around and land on the runway. I've always used a stick. No, no. Definitely not for flying, ever. I might go around. I think I'm gonna go around. I don't know, maybe I can make it on this one, but I feel like I can't slow down in time for the runway. We don't have air brakes or anything. Okay, let's do some impromptu S turns to try and slow down so I can make it on this. Or even a loop to loop. No, I'll do an S turn. Quick save? 
shocking. There's no quick saves. We don't do quick saves around here. Ask the cripples who died. <laughs> Just try to kill speed. This isn't even the full runway. We haven't upgraded it yet. Mm. Okay, there's some yaw issues. And it's sort of blocking my view a bit. See, everything is okay. Dan Wig and the Lantern can had nothing to worry about. Now you all have to go out and try this. We have demonstrated that grabbing it like this is perfectly all right. And recover. Full well, I better get full funds recovery. See, one hundred percent, indeed. XP has been gained by scientists. <sighs> anyway, contract complete. 